Look at that. He's done it for you. I didn't get the ship last time, but I got him this time. That's, that's not how you dock, am I fairy, my friend? Please? What are you doing? This man is drunk at the ship. The, the man at the helm is drunk. Get him out of here. Look what he's done. Alright, everybody. We are back with some more colony management survival here in Settlement Survival. Now, in case you missed the first video I did in this bad boy right here, upper right corner of the screen, check it out, click on it, come on back, just so you know what we're up to, because we shall be diving back in here pretty soon, and continuing where we left off last time around. Now, before we do so, quick shout out to Gleamer Studio for supporting the channel and sponsoring our Settlement Survival coverage so far. Awesome on their part to do so. Down below in the description, you'll find a link to download a demo to try for yourselves. And in case you want to pick up the full game, the release date for this now is October 11th. Let's do our thing. Alright everybody, welcome back to our continuation of our settlement here. We got a lot of things that I want to work on as we do a bit more of the old settlement survival. Uh, we have people freezing, that's fine, they'll be warm here pretty soon. That's one of the things I want to focus on right now. Couple more houses. You see, they're demanding houses when they demand houses because they want to, you know, get that old bump and grind happening. Which is good for us because even though it means a bunch more kids that won't be doing any work, eventually these little small bastards will grow up <laughs> and they'll become useful members of society. So we don't necessarily want to spend too much on that, but I also want to set up our trading area for our ships to come in. Now, I believe, yeah, we missed this one at the end of the last video because we didn't have the ferry set up over here from the dock. We have a plenty amount of gold or silver, and we're going to get a bit more as well once the distillery is built, which is on the way right now. So there's a couple of things we're going to be doing here to start off with. First and foremost, how are we looking with timber, raw materials? Let's start off with um, doing collect resources. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do a resource clear through all of this, because this is going to probably eventually just be a farming area no matter what. The other thing we got to worry about right now is going to be clothing. Clothing, as you can see, we have no spares, just basically whatever is here, which is going to be 38. So, we're going to start getting these houses up and running first, which is important for bumping and grinding, obviously. But we don't have... I, I wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit, just for the sake of variety. I know it's not even a better house, but just work with me here, just to kind of give our settlement more variety, right? Let's come on down to quality of life. Let's pick up the tents. Now, I know, obviously, would you rather have a house or a tent to live in? I mean, some people like camping, so maybe they like the tent. I don't know. It seems a bit more closer to, you know, nature. He's full of shit. Uh, let's see. We could do something like this. That could fit. Could you fit another one right there? E I think. Yes. Perfect. And we need, apparently, four people are demanding houses. So, you know what? For now, we'll do four. And then we'll see how it plays out. Perfect. Let's go into five times speed, maybe even ten soon enough. The distillery, uh, let's actually roam around really quickly here and find out. You know what? You could probably... This thing needs to go for a while. Let me add another hand for gathering station now because we're going to have a couple of extra spots because we've turned that off. Distillery, we're going to build it just so we get the silver, but we're not going to be using it just yet because we still have 200 beverages, so we're not, not going through them just yet. Luckily, we don't have a, a village full of alcoholics, so they're laying off the booze. On occasion, though, whenever they're down, they could probably have a couple of drinks, but I think we're doing fairly good when it comes to happiness and health anyway, so... Once that's built, we're not going to assign anybody to it. We'll just assign that, um... Yeah, let me get this out of the way, thank you. Whenever we do need them, we'll be using the agave and water to turn spirits, but um, right now, no, 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 Glenn. You turn off, turn off. What the hell was that sound? Did you hear like <laughs> something just crashed down really loud? I guess it was the trees. That was loud as all hell. Freaked me out a little bit. Stop! He's already dead. Yes, logging camp. More of this, please. Focus right now on felling trees. We'll worry about planting later. You know, we're living for the moment, not for later. Once a mission and fuels and global warming kicks up, then we'll think about replanting, obviously. Where are you, my friend? The Taylor's Workshop, up and running as well. And we have a pretty nice little system over here. We have all sorts of industry stuff happening, so... Right there. Let's also continuously build our roads. At some point or another, we might want to actually get this road to come on down to our logging camp area, too. Wouldn't be the worst thing, I would say. Although it's not too long of a trek that I don't think we have to worry about, you know, setting up roads over here. Considering this is where they start planting trees and all that stuff, so yeah, there is that. Okay, citizens are cold. Yeah, I know, it's a cold winter. What can we do, boys? 
Why don't you just hang out with the alpacas over here? These alpacas love us, man. They're very trusting of us. I wouldn't be trusting so much if I was them, but hey. Alright, as you can see right now, people are no longer clamoring for houses, so that's good. One of the things I wanted to do as well, again, right now we're lacking manpower, we're lacking, uh, we're lacking, not macking. I mean, I want them to start macking on each other so, you know, we get more kids here, but, you know, that'll come eventually. We're lacking, um, more development points as well to unlock a couple of other things. One of the things I wanted to do is actually get the marketplace. Do we have a point yet? No. So, we have the small marketplace, which, um, it's smaller, obviously, than the one that we already have existing, but if we get that, we could then unlock delivery, which then makes it so that, you know how when people are cold because they're working, they come on back and there's nothing in their house, so they have to run to the marketplace and grab the stuff? Well, if we set that delivery system up, then the person working the market dur during the day could actually move the items to their houses. The, uh, the hollering in the game from Highland in the marketplace freaked me out. I thought people were like outside of my house, like, you know, trying to um, break in for some reason. <laughs> you think it's weird. You think it's weird, but you don't know where I live, man. It's a possibility at all times. Now, winter's over. We can start doing our thing yet again over here. I'm going to just do one field. As I said, I think one field is going to be enough for us. As you can see now, we have no freed up workers, but that's okay. We know that we could pull one from here. And uh, repairs. I felt like repairs, you've had a... You know what we can do? Let's, uh pull one from there as well. That's fine. Water. We got plenty of water right now. If we kind of get to that point, we could definitely remove them from there, but it'll be fine. What I'm worried right now is about our injuries. What's going on here with Peter? Peter, are you treating these people? Diseases? I mean, we could research the diseases with um, the development points, but it seems more than likely right now issues with um, body parts. Maybe bones, perhaps? Who's in here? Who is being treated? I guess we could probably do it through here, huh? Clement. Now, let's see. That's the boy in there treating. Sammy the farmer. Apparently, he's got an ankle sprain. Slow movement. Clement the cleric's also actually injured. Ankle sprain. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, my boys have weak ankles. What I believe it is is that we don't have any cows. <laughs> They're not getting their calcium intake's a problem here. I've, I've narrowed it down. Okay, so this is now built. We're going to be using leather because I think leather is the one that we have the most abundant resources of. Is that correct, Falcon? Uh, I don't know. I'm just assuming 84 leather. Not that much, but it's better than nothing, right? So, yeah. Let's get a couple of those up and running. How many? Well, not 200. I mean, that's an excessive amount for the low amount of people we actually have existing here at the moment. So, did we pop a baby? I feel like we popped a baby. And here we go. Candy has replaced Ken as a cleric. Cleric Ken has frozen to dead. Oh, no. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> it happened during November. Oh. Okay, so hey, we're doing good now when it comes to popping babies at least. Let's see here. January, there were three births last season. April has arrived. There was one birth in the last season. Alright, so they're, they're doing their part. We gave them the houses, they're doing their part. Our ship isn't really too far off. So let's do the ferry. I think I'm going to use that point as well for the training. We'll see. Now, the ferry. Where's the ferry going to be? I think, you know, over here is not too bad. Just because we have plenty of things we could collect at the same time too, right? Now, we need the entry not from the water. I don't want people to jump in the water just get inside of the ferry. That seems kind of foolish. Although, that seems like a very narrow spot for that ship, right? So, let's have... Uh, mm, no, we can't mess around with the trees over there. I guess I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put it over here because I was hoping to maybe do it here, but it's going to mess around with the camping area. So yeah, let's say right here is good enough. We have a new development point. Thank you. You're good in a ferry. Perfect. What does this require? Iron ore, stone timber. We should have plenty of all that stuff. As a matter of fact, yes, we do. We got more than we actually need. Hey, you guys cleared everything out over here. Nice. Good job, boys. A couple of trees that you missed here. You know, I'm, I'm just saying a little bit of DLCD is um, triggering in me. So please uh, remove. Let me just remove all of this stuff we're added here too. I huh? just clear out. The area where we inhabit? Okay. What's the problem? Oh, you're out of leather. Well, that sounds like a problem. What's going on over here? What are you guys doing? You're joining alpaca clubs all the time, but um, you're not killing them long enough to get the leather? Is that the problem here? Last year, this current year, you have produced no leather for me whatsoever, Brad. Brad? Where's the leather, Brad? Our warehouse, though, is looking amazing. Look at this. Look at this situation right here. 
where warehouse just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So uh, let's do a little bit more like so. Oh, you don't let me do it through there? Okay, fine. There it is. Every time I see that packed up, it's a good problem. You know, it's kind of like, oh, really? Hmm. You guys are producing so much that we don't have room for it. How about that? What a good problem to have in life. I got too much of a good thing. And I don't believe in that whole, like, oh, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. How can not believe me? If you decided to give me infinite amount of money in the world, you're not going to tell me, oh, that's a bad thing, Falcon. No, no, that's a good thing. I would be happy. You can't buy happiness. Oh, believe me, just, uh, just test it out. Any rich person out there listening on, let's test that theory out. You'll give the money. We'll find out how much happiness your boy could find. Because I'm sure it'd be quite a bit. Oh, this field's almost done there. This is almost built. Perfect. Um, so with this done, we got that one development point, right? Let me pause momentarily so my small brain could actually, uh, process all the stuff that's happening right at the moment. Not weaving. We said knitting. Yes, knitting's one of them. I guess if we're gonna do the reed thing, we're gonna need this eventually, right? The sand pit. We need the clay for the reeds. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Oh, but then again, Falcon, you do want... You do want the delivery, don't you? I do. I do. Merchants are more willing to do business with your townships at the ferry and dock and carry a wider variety of items. We got so much money that we gotta take advantage of it right now, especially with this coming up. Yeah. You know, hey, for all we know, we could probably just find some clay in there too and buy it from there, right? So yeah, let's do that. And we'll once again build up. I mean, we could... He said we're just so low on people, but we could get this school up and running. It's for the children. We got children, Falcon. Yeah, I guess we got children. Fine. Let's think of the children. Fine. We'll think of the children. We'll think of the children as we put them next to the distillery. So that maybe they low-key develop drinking habits. Mm -hmm. We've apparently brought in the harvest as well. Let's uh, go ahead and close it off. Good job on that one, boys. Our food is looking amazing, by the way. Oh, amazing. So we got two extra freed up people. You know what? Julie, continue quote-unquote repairing. I know that's what you call it. What are you doing today, Julie? Um, I'm just repairing. I bet you are. Uh, Darcy and Gabby have taken over the ferry. You hearing that? That right there, those, those people yelling, the, the, the ambient noises of the game that tripped me out. I thought earlier somebody was trying to break into my domicile and... I don't know, take what little I don't have. <laughs> Do you think it might be time for us to, um, hunting cabin? What's happened this year? 54 alpaca wool. So the alpacas that were over there have made their way down here. You, you've you murdered them? That's that's actually good. I'm don't hold that against you. That's what they're there for, to be murdered. Oh, there's a buffalo over here. Oh, you you mock me, buffalo. You show up after me talking about the lack of leather, and you're like, hey, I'm ready. All right, that's fine. We are prepared for the cold, I'm going to say. Nope. Oh, fuel's at 64. Why is it at 64? Hey, Sammy. What's the problem, Sammy? I need you producing this domestic fuel at 200. And these six is always produced. Okay, so we're out of alpacas. That's the thing. We're just lacking now the materials to make this happen. Pretty sure we're also going to be out of leather still, because the animal supply here isn't so. No, yeah, you see. Well then, at least for now, Taylor Workshop is out of commission. So, Candy, you're freed up to go. At least we built up 63, so that should be at least good for now. Here's what I want happening. We have two freed up people, right? Sammy, let's go ahead and hook you up with another person. I need this to be produced pronto. So don't worry too much. It's uh, it's under control. I, I decided to re-enable the sawmill that was making the planks into making more domestic fuel. So we got two people working there. Another development point has now been acquired. Birds are happening. People are going to school. As you can see now, we have students. More students. That's what's up. All right. So we got one point. Your reserves are low. Stop telling me that. I'm working on it, okay? I'm working. I'm working. Uh, is it time for the knitting? Well, we got the... Did we get the sand pit thing done? Okay. So sand mining is now a possibility as well. Sand pit right over to this side. So it has to be partially in water as well, because that's how you collect the old sand, obviously. So, not a bad spot to continue our progression through here. Benson has chosen to go to school. Yeah, that's good. Everybody go to school. Nobody died, though, okay? That's the only thing I don't want to see happening there. Deaths. This is good. Let's go ahead and do dirt road through there. Very good. Okay, so farming season is just about upon us yet again. So how about we switch it up? We do have uh, apparently new things to plant. So if we go to beans, we have seed peeds. 
Higher yield than vegetables. Not bad. Did I call them sea peats? <laughs> What's going on? Pea seeds. Sea peats. And we also have raw materials. Okay. Okay. So right now we're not really too big on the brewery. Our tools did go up. That's, that makes me happy. Uh, linen. We could use linen to turn into hemp, if I'm correct. And then we could use the hemp to make clothing. So if we're low on leather and alpaca stuff, this is a different way to kind of go about it. So am I interested about that? Yes. But not interested enough to get these people off of, you know, building more fuel reserves. So maybe once we get the fuel reserve back up, we can do that. Our tools are up to 95. So maybe we could start thinking about letting the uh, blacksmith lay off a bit. Maybe the repair shop as well. So let's lay you guys off for now. I mean, it's not a layoff. It's just kind of like a temporary, like, you know, go do something else for me thing. So... Do we do the linen now, then? I feel like we're so good on food that we can, you know what I'm saying? Look, look at the fish. Look at the fish. Look how much fish alone we got. So even if the cabbage was to somehow magically just deplete altogether, I think we got plenty of fish, right? Is this how the falcon um, colony ends? <laughs> His move to linens? I could be. But you know what? I kind of also wanted to do the, the sea pieces, I call them, but let, let's try linens. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Um, get people here. Thank you. 56 fuel. I think honestly that's all we do need, just that. So, uh, again, now we're, we're already stretched thin as it is and we're going to be even more so because we got to get things like this happening. So the sand pit, we want clay from you. That's going to open up the reeds and then, I mean, since we're growing linen, we might not even have to then rely on the reeds, perhaps. Well, for now I'll keep it there, but it might be a move that we decide to remove later on. Okay. So look at my supplies right now. The fuel supply is going back up. You know what I'm thinking? I feel like 200 could be a problem. Especially considering what happened. Let's pump this up to at least 300. And... We definitely get rid of all this stuff over here. Collect all this jazz here. Did you get these trees over there? Yes. I just don't want to MP too much in the Hampton area, so that's fine. We got some more alpacas over there. What have you done so far? Current year, alpaca one, alpaca media. It's only alpacas. Our buffalo situation has apparently gone extinct. So we are indeed following true to terms, true to real life. The buffalo exists no more. It's It should be here. It's on its way and ready to trade upon arrival at the port. Did we see him? I see him still. So he can suddenly just pop up. Look, man, I got this fairy right here. You better stop. Maybe he's coming from the other side. I didn't consider that as well. No. This entire follow-up has been... There it is! Okay. Thank you. I was gonna say, am I gonna really, you know, blue ball you guys, unfortunately, again, with this freaking trade ship? So now we have another source right now of, um, you know, possible good stuff coming up. I... We made that bad house a long time ago. We never actually built it, but we have it ready to go. Because I wanted to, you know, make soap for better health. But that was before we got the clinic up and running, so it hasn't really been too necessary. But just because we have it available, I'd like to make it happen at some point. But we needed blubber to make into soap, which I'm not sure if we even have a lot of that at the moment here. We're at 10 speed, yes. Okay, there it's coming. It's coming, guys, don't worry. We're definitely gonna make it here in this video to that freaking ship. Um, fuel supply is now up to almost 300. Okay, that makes me a lot happier. What doesn't make me happy is the clothing. So, let's think about this. Linen. Ship. Should be coming up soon. Can be made into hemp at the weaving workshop or ropes at the knitting workshop. So we need to get weaving or, well, I mean, I guess particularly what we're looking for, for clothing at least. Well, indeed, there's a ship. Be weaving. Okay. So we'll look into that here pretty soon. I think we have uh, maybe even two development points up at this point. Let's slow it down. Ah, look at that. Look at that. He's done it for you. I didn't get the ship last time, but I got him this time. And maybe it's a bit too slow, how fucking... Yeah, it's a little bit too slow. <laughs> okay, hey, um, you're at two times speed. Come on. Come on. Are gonna... That's, that's not how you dock, am I fair, my friend? Please? What are you doing? This man is drunk at the ship. The, the man at the helm is drunk. Get him out of here. Look what he's done. Okay. So, unit prices. I'm seeing uh, high prices. Cats! 
Yo, we got the kitties. Now, the kitties, I believe, um, give passive happiness. If we go over here, I know I've seen it in quality of life, is it? No, no. Where, where the hell the cat's at? Okay, my bad. I know I had seen the cat somewhere. It wasn't in development. It was just basically in the house upgrades. So as you can see right here, if we go to the house upgrades, um, we could click over here and we could um, add additional stuff. These are very low down the um, skill tree line, so we need to get more schools and more development for that. So I haven't really been able to do much of these, which is really helpful, by the way. Furniture and um, strengthening the integrity of your house, also for keeping it warmer. But it's very low on the skill tree thing, so it takes a while to get to. But here's the cats. Raising cats in house can release citizen stress. So, I mean, they're not too expensive. Oof. <laughs> oh, just two alone would be 3,000, half of our money. Okay, that's, that's actually fairly expensive. We have toilets, we got ovens, we got baskets. Baskets are actually really good because it helps us carry more. The tool consumes reed and the weaving huts to add weight to the population will gradually wear out. and need to be regularly replaced. Yeah, it's one of the things I've been thinking about building myself as well. We have leather boots, uh, leather workshop can increase movement speed for citizens, but it will gradually wear out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blubber. Yes, boys. Blubber's finally coming into it. We can have one cat. One cat in the entire civilization. Okay. Um, and uh, that's the price. All right. Perfect. Okay, and there goes our fairy ship. We got our cats, we got our blubber, we got some boots for our people. Not too bad. Not too bad, our supplies looking very stellar. We are, what, coming up for the winter? We gotta gonna actually have fuel to keep us warm this time around? All right, excellent. Well, I guess this is a perfect spot for us to wrap up. Nothing tremendously bad happened, other than, you know, Cleric Ken freezing to death. But you know what, let's just be honest here. That was uh, Cleric Ken's fault and his fault alone. At least we got kids going to school. And does anybody need houses right now? No, but soon enough they probably will because I'm seeing all these houses seem to be completely filled up So if we want more bumping and grinding happening, we need more houses. How's our fertility rate? Ooh, 84? That's what's up. You know The fertility rate is gonna be pretty high in a falcon run colony This has been settlement survival guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. All the information will be down below as I've mentioned Demo available and the game comes out October 11th, which should probably be available now when the video comes out Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time